You know how it takes a ton of time when you are starting a Premiere project? You have to drag in all your assets, your clips, your music, your sound effects, and your transition packs? Well, what if I told you that in one click, you can actually save this as a project template, and that will allow you to open this up when you are starting a new project, which will automatically preload everything you have created. Whenever you create a new project in Premiere, you're greeted with this little box right here, and there's something called template down here. And if you click on it, you'll see, you'll probably see broadcast, social media, and standard template project. If you click on like standard template project, it will open up Premiere's standard template. And this may work for some of you, but I'm gonna show you how to make a custom one. So let's just start a new project and name this template and select no template and click create. Now we can start to actually create our template. So I'm gonna right click new bin and I'm gonna name this 00, zero so it stays at the top. And I'm gonna change that to sequence because I like my sequences to be at the top. New bin, let's do zero one and call this footage. And keep in mind, you guys can create this however you want, but this is kind of how I set up my projects. And then I'm gonna do music since that's the next most important thing. And then zero three, I'm gonna do sound effects. And then I'm gonna do zero four assets. And then finally zero five transition packs. You can also apply labels to all these by simply right clicking on them and go to label. And then that would allow you to select a color so it's easy to see. So now let's start dragging in all of our stuff and setting up our first project. So I'm gonna right click right here and go to new item and I'm gonna make our first sequence. You can just click okay because we're gonna change these settings by going up to sequence and then select sequence settings. Now I'm gonna set my project up by 3840 by 2160 and you can set this up however you like. I'm just gonna name this sequence 3840 by 2160 so I know what I'm looking at. And then I'm gonna drag that in my sequence bin since I know that all my sequences will live here. Footage is gonna be something that you're gonna to add to when you start a project. Music could be the same thing, but sound effects, if you have sound effects pack, drag those in here. In this case, I'm simply gonna drag in my Chaos Unleash sound effects pack, which is 1300 cinematic sound effects that you can download, link in the description down below. I'm also gonna drag in a couple video assets that I have. And of course, I also need my YouTube intro and outro, as well as some of my backgrounds. And for the transition pack, I'll typically use the ultimate effects pack or this brand new one that I just released called Seamless Flow. So in this case, I'm gonna drag in my Seamless Flow transition pack. And if you wanna check that out, you can click the link in the description down below. It's simply 185 seamless transitions that help you with the editing process. And all these were designed to be drag and drop. And all of these transitions were designed to be seamless. They make the editing process so much faster. So if you're interested, click the link in the description down below. And now that I have everything already loaded in, I like to do one last thing. And that's simply going into my sequence settings and adjusting my audio track mixer. Because I typically like to do track mixers so that when all my dialogue is on one track, it will be leveled and sounds good. So I'm gonna open up the audio track mixer, amplitude compression, multi-band compressor, and change that to broadcast and then go to the end. So I'm gonna go to the mix, which is everything and make sure nothing clips. So I'm just gonna put a hard limiter on there. I'm also going to add my intro and outro for tutorials. So I'm gonna drag that intro here and then I'm gonna drag my outro out right there. So that way when I start editing, I know that these things are right here where my intro and my outro will be, but I can obviously move those around. You can also create adjustment layers, add some color grades or pretty much anything you want in here because when you reopen this project, it will be there again. So now let's show you how to save this as a project template. You simply have to go to file and then save as template. So we're gonna name this template KH and then click save. So now when I start a new project, I can simply click this template button and find that template that I just created, which is called KH. As soon as I click that and then click create, Premiere automatically opens with everything that I've created in this template. And all I have to do is drag my footage in and I can start editing really fast. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please click that like button and let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you feel like supporting me, you can check out any of the products that I have listed on my website. But as always, I'll see you guys next time.